Sunday, 21st of May, 2023. Now this is another one of my what a fuck moments, and this is a monumental what a fuck. You should pay attention to the details contained here. It is absolutely, almost hilarious how the G7, and I'm going to call this West now the G7, because that makes it easier for me. So if I refer to the G7, I'm talking about the West. They are absolutely pushing the boundaries of idiocy. As like you could never in your wildest dreams have imagined. I listened to a commentator from South America on his channel this morning where he was discussing that ICC warrant against Putin. And the guy made me laugh. I like his style. And he has got... He, you see, he's from a culture very similar to ours. Our Africana culture. We are not severely or serious supporters of this politically correct speech shit that has engulfed the West. And I laughed when he referred to the European NATO leader group as intellectual masturbators. That was so spot on. And you must forgive me, and he must forgive me, I'm going to use that term liberally in future skid marks, because it says it perfectly. Look at what is going on. The Western leadership is at their wit's end with Zelensky. They don't know how the hell to handle him anymore because he's now a hot potato and they are passing him on very rapidly. Look at what happened the past two weeks. He's on a world cruise. The, the, the man is shit scared to go back to Russia, uh, to Ukraine because he, he is afraid that the Russians are going to get him after that almost hilarious effort to send a drone into the Kremlin and assassinate Putin. Now that guy is running scared, <laughs> that is for sure. I think he doesn't know which way to turn or where to hide, but he's trying to keep on a brave face. There's a major question hanging in the air. Where is Zelensky? His chief of the military is missing in action. Nobody knows where he is. And there is absolutely fucking hilarious articles coming out from the Ukraine propaganda machine. First, they claimed that Zelensky was at his friend's wedding. So he couldn't attend the NATO meeting and he couldn't do a video call to the NATO meeting, which sounded fishy. And then now the latest one, Zelensky is apparently having fun in the surf on Cyprus. And <laughs> The unforgiving internet came out and said, hey, listen, that image of Zelensky in the sea, that thing was taken a few years ago. So the question of where is Zelensky is hanging in the air. But let's get back to Zelensky, the chief clown of the circus. Let's get back to him. They, uh, they, they don't know where to put him where he cannot do too much damage. Because this is what it is now. The West is trying to figure a damage control plan out and they are at their wit's end. So they, first they send him on a begging tour around Europe. 
And then they realized, oof, we are running out of places to park him. And some intellectual giant thought, that's a good plan, let's send him to the Arab League Summit. <laughs> I couldn't understand what the hell is doing there because uh, it just seemed for me totally absurd for him to go to the Arab League Summit. But, okay, they send him there and the Arabs, I think maybe there was a little bit of diplomatic pressure here and there and that and they said, all right, let him come. Give him an opportunity to speak. Now, I want you to look at this face. That is the president of Syria. The guy that took a body shot from the West in their effort to change the regime in Syria, which they couldn't pull off. But in the process, they have destroyed Syria, bombed it to pieces, and I've said it many times. It, the West is going to pay for that shit. They have destroyed houses and buildings that are hundreds of years old, basically gold-plated in history, but with their typical disregard for anything else. They destroyed it. Just destroyed it. And in the process destroyed a lot of lives. But they will pay for that. I have said it a few times in my skid marks. The West is going to pay for what they did to the Middle East. And the Americans are going to take the full brunt of the blow. They better pack their bases up and go back to their country. Or they're going to flee out there in the night in their underwear like they did in Afghanistan. But let's get back. Look at how Assad is looking at Zelensky while he is talking. That facial expression says a lot. And especially the eyes. To me, the eyes says it. Here is the text that went with that shot. Assad removed his earpiece during Zelensky's speech at the Arab League summit. Now, that could have been a token, but the reality is Assad is a very well-educated man and he understands English and the clown was talking in English. Listen to this. There is the chief clown of the Western circus in Europe. There are those among you who turns a blind eye to Crimea's annexation, Zelensky at the Arab League summit. Mr. Zelensky took to himself a role of tutoring heads of state. Would somebody finally make a break in this cocaine-induced meltdown? And the comment on this photograph is right on target as far as I'm concerned. Because Zelensky is a clown. And while he's sitting there preaching to the Arab League, listen to what his chief of security says about Crimea. Ukraine's intelligence chief, Kirill Budanov, said he intends to exterminate 3 million residents of Crimea. After victory, I will go to Sevastopol. There will be a lot of work. We got three million people who lived under Russian propaganda. They are deformed people who will be physically annihilated for their actions. What the fuck is that? And a bigger what the fuck. How the hell can the West associate themselves with pure, unadulterated Nazi speak like this? How? What is going on? How is this 
acceptable. But then we have to remember, there is a lot of zatsis around the world. We've got them here in South Africa. I've got a pet zatsi myself. So we shouldn't be surprised at them supporting this regime in the Ukraine. I'm going to repeat his words. After victory, I will go to Sevastopol. There will be a lot of work. We got three million people who lived under Russian propaganda. They are deformed people who will be physically annihilated for their actions. Well, I've got news for him. If the Russians lay their hands on him, he is most probably going to experience firsthand what the word physical discomfort means. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. It is important that the world hear what the fuck they are supporting. This is the realities that you will never see on the MSN. Never. And that G7 circus in Japan, I will do more skid marks on that. It is mind-blowing, the idiocy that is coming out there. Thank you for your support and enjoy your day.